been here before. Three Gorges Museum is close by. It's busy busy. It's starting to be rush hour as you can hear. An old palace is right nearby here but it's one of the government buildings now and the palace is right up here. Haha -ha, I was here one year ago. We'll go up to the Chongqing China Three Gorges Museum. Can't tell if they're open or not. We shall find out. Well, they're open nine to five. This same thing happened last year. It was a little hard to get to this because I got off on the wrong metro step. Let's see, let me think if I remember the correct one. It is... Uh, Dagzi Zhao. Dagzi it didn't take very much to get to this because there's a main road that leads right past this place. Let's get off on this Dagzi uh, Zhao uh, uh, metro exit. It's in the green line in Chongqing. Again, everything is designed so people look really, really small. Notice how small the people look. And the buildings are designed so they are colossal. Three Gorges Dam is in front of me, and it uh, looks like a really good place here to hang out with children. A lot of families out here, strollers, kids playing with balls and things, so a uh, uh, great place, family place. It feels safe. It's nice when it's like that. You don't feel like you're going to get clobbered. Three Gorges Dam is one of the electrical feats of the world at this point. And I think it's why the Chinese have so much power and they can put those lights all over their skyscrapers at nighttime. Talk about renewable energy, as long as it's managed well, which they seem to be doing. China is full of rich culture, rich history, and magnificent places. So it is definitely worth studying this area. It's fabulous and uh, makes you, I guess it gets you a little more humble in the grand scheme of things, see how humbling this is. There were huge wars transpiring over here when Europe was still in the feudal age. Of course, Europe's just spectacularly wealthy with its resources and China also and the Silk Road connected these two areas together. A lot of wars happening there in the middle, people trying to control trade. The Mongols, mainly, controlling trade. Turks, Gok Turks. Most famous Mongol being Genghis Khan. And the, of course, you have all the other ones, the Attila the Hun. I was surprised at the study of history and finding out most of the great warriors came from around Mongolia and they tried to control trade. And then, as they figured out, well, maybe we don't want to go to war all the time. Maybe we want to settle. You know, more and more of them got plots of land in Europe. And so, Europe is all chopped up because of that. With each one of the countries being a different settlement. Fascinating. This is the entryway to the Three Gorges Dam in Chongqing, China. Uh, you have to have your passport to get in. This is looking in, and then this is looking at the entryway. Put your bags through the scanner, as usual. 
in China. There's a sign on the floor. I think it means no slipping is allowed. Boat trackers of the Yangtze River. A boat sailing against the current had to use boat trackers towing forward on the Three Gorges section of the Yangtze River. Here's a 1940s picture. This is kind of interesting. This is a stone from 173 AD. There's a picture here of the end of the peninsula where the Yiling and the Yangtze River come together. At the end of that peninsula, it's the corner in the bottom right of the screen. Uh, I was just there. It's Chao Tianmen, and they have a huge shopping center there and a whole bunch of skyscrapers and super skyscrapers there that they're connecting up together. So you can go up into the skyscrapers, 50 stories high, go across from one skyscraper to the one beside it, to the one beside it. So this picture is probably a couple years old before all that construction went on. As soon as they start work on a skyscraper, it doesn't take long for it to get finished. I was here a year ago and they had started on a skyscraper right beside where I was living and now I come back a year later and the skyscraper is done. In one year, a 50-story skyscraper has been completed. And that's just one, you know, they have thousands. So fascinating to see the, uh, the end of the peninsula there that it's locked in time with the picture. Now they have to update the picture because they've grown so fast. There are four levels in there. There's a lot to see. If you like the artifacts, history, relics, culture, uh, parchments, um, stuff about the war, and then technology also because the, the first floor theme is about science and how they, they uh, conquered the, the rivers so they could create this, the, the biggest hydroelectric plant in the world. And that's here. Kid safe, kid friendly. Uh, a lot of the stuff is in English. There's a uh, little bit of stuff that they don't want you to read. So they didn't translate it to English. Uh, second, third, fourth floor. You know, it's uh, you know talking about the greatness of China and uh, uh, how how communism is good and this, that, and the other thing. 
So they didn't translate a lot of that stuff into English, but I translated it and, and got the gist of, of what it was doing. Uh, but all in all, this is a good sight to see. 